What's up guys, good morning, another early morning. I actually just got back from the gym, so it's about 5.30 right now. Kind of late making this video, so I do apologize if you're usually up early with me drinking your coffee. But talking about coffee, don't forget to grab your coffee, here's mine. All right guys, so today we're actually gonna be talking about Molen stock, but we're gonna make it a little different. I am gonna show you the charts and kind of what we've been doing the last couple days. I know there's been a lot of fear this last week with Molen stock as we've come down a lot, right? It's been red day after red day after red day. From our old high of about 44 cents, we've come down about 45%. That's pretty alarming for a lot of people and I totally understand, especially if you were buying in at 44, 45 cents. Now, if you're part of the team, you know we were selling at 43 and a half cents. We sold a little bit at 48 cents, way before at the old time high. That's because we do deep chart analysis. But as we have come down, we have purchased more Molin shares. Um, my last purchase was actually at 34 cents and then my last purchase was actually at 25 cents. So I'm going to be talking about exactly where I think we might potentially be going next. I'm also going to be talking about Tesla today because I'm not really bullish on Molin with the retail. Okay, and I'm going to explain. Now I'm bullish on Molin as a company. Probably the thing I'm not really too concerned about is retail. I'm more bullish on commercial and these class one vehicles. I think that's really what's gonna help us get our next leg up, especially if you're trading the stock. Now in the long run, Molin could still be a successful company. I think their opportunity with commercial and especially these class one vehicles we're talking about, and then we have IGO. I don't think IGO will be a bunch of revenue. I really do think these class one vehicles will bring in a ton of revenue. Molin could be that company that provides these vans and that starts to transition companies into electric vehicles, right? And I know you guys all think that also. I mean, it's kind of painting the perfect picture with, for us right now with Randy Marion already doing a $200 million deal, with Menzies doing a pilot run, thinking about moving these LAX vehicles around airports into electric vehicles, and Molin is the one that they're testing. I don't know if they're running with anyone else, but all I know is they're doing Molin and Loop Global right now. So that's why I'm very bullish on these commercial vehicles for Molin stock. One of the things I wanted to talk about today was Tesla, the GOAT, right, for EV vehicles. Now they're saying they may reveal a $25,000 EV car in 2024. Now I don't know if it's gonna look like this. I, I think it's gonna be like a hatchback. Now, I'm not saying that compares to the Molin 5 at all. All I'm saying is with the Molin 5 being around $55,000, I don't know if that will be very affordable for most people right? I think Molin will attract a certain type of person and a certain family and people can afford that. But if Tesla keeps improving their prices and they keep coming out with new models, people might tend to want to go to Tesla over Molin, which is totally fine. I never wanted Molin to be the number one EV company out there, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of where I'm really looking for for Molin and the success for Molin right now is the commercial vehicles and the commercial deals that they're getting, right? Because no one else is really doing that. Now you can also look at companies like Neo and Rivian and all these other electric companies. Now Molin prices are competitive compared to those companies in my opinion. So I do think the Molin 5 will be an attractive vehicle to a lot of people at the price points it's at. Hopefully it stays at that. Hopefully they don't increase it at all. Maybe they could even potentially decrease it in the future. We now know that they're not gonna start production for the Molin 5 till 2024, so it's not really a huge concern for me right now. Again, I'm really looking at the class one vehicles and commercial deals. That's where I believe the money is for Molin. As we're looking at Molin stock right here, we can see that we are just hanging out on this ascending trend line, right? And we're also hanging out at the 786 on the Fib retracement. So we really want to be careful here, um, especially as I'm analyzing the weekly chart. We don't want to break this level because if we do break this level, especially today being Friday, I could see us moving down more. So you wanna be cautious, you wanna manage your risk with Molin stock, okay? None of this is financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. I've just been giving you guys my opinion on where I think Molin is moving next. And if we break this ascending trend line, I could see more downside pressure. 
Okay, now could we get news today? I'm hoping we get news today because it's been a while. And like I said, they usually put out at least three pieces of news every single month. Today's February 24th. So all we need is some news. We need someone to talk, David, to say something on Twitter. Like anything, if we could get something, then the stock could start moving its way up and we could start testing these other levels on the way up to 36 cents. So guys, it's another day. It's Friday, the end of the week. Again, it's very important where we close today. So manage your risk, do what's best for you and your family. Hopefully this video was helpful. Quick video, just wanna give you a little bit of my um, mindset of where I really think Mullen could be in the future, what I'm bullish on today. I would love to hear your opinion back. If you wanna comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are on commercial and retail for Molin company. If you want to join the team, check out the links down below, Patreon $7 a month, or you could just click join on the YouTube um, and then you have access to more benefits with the YouTube channel. Have a great weekend. Enjoy time with your friends, family, whoever it might be. We'll see you on the next one.